Hello everyone, I welcome you all to ATM Creations and I welcome you all to Zero to Hero series of videos too. By looking at the comments in all the previous videos in this series, I understand that the series had been very useful for all of you and I'm really happy about it. In this video, I'm going to show you how do I varnish my artwork and uh, how do I fix the hooks. Let me show you the hook part first and then varnish next. See, this is the hook that I use to hang my artworks, either for myself or for my clients. Now, this hook is actually called as a plus minus hook, or in few cases, uh, people call it as male female hook too. These are the two portions of the hook. This one to be stuck on the wall, and this portion to be stuck on the artwork. See, if you see this, there is a sticker portion here. You know if you see there is a sticker portion you can happily remove this and then stick it on the wall same way you can do it for this portion of the hook too now in some cases this sticker may not be strong enough so what you can do is I use this Fevicwick this is just um, a five rupee pack a very small pack I have just kept it open for the sake of video so this is how it looks like and you just have to tap it open and then you have a cap too. So the same thing can be used as, see, this can be used as a cap and you can close it and keep it also. But once you open it, you have to use it within a week. So what you can do is, if the already existing adhesive is not enough, apply a couple of drops and then stick it on the wall. Same way. Apply a couple of drops here and then stick it on the artwork. Now, if you are applying this fevic wick and sticking this portion on the wall and sticking this portion on the artwork, you need to give it at least half an hour time. So once you apply fevic wick and uh, stick this on the wall and artwork, give them a gentle press so that it gets stuck on the wall and artwork clearly, firmly too then leave for 30 minutes you can hang the artwork like this it's going to stay firm no problem at all now coming to the varnish part of the artwork this is the varnish that i normally use little buddies decker varnish and matte varnish 100 ml now what i do is this i have a brush exclusively for varnishing now after painting I leave it for um, 96 hours that is four complete days of drying after finishing dotting 96 hours of drying is what I normally do maybe even lesser is enough but to be on a safer side I leave it for drying for four full days once I'm satisfied that I have dried this artwork for 96 hours then I use this varnish. Now I'm going to show you how to apply varnish. Now this is what I do. I'll just pour it like this and then brush it off. Initially it may look like uh, you know a layer of whitish liquid on it but it is going to dry off so you don't have to worry. So when you brush off make sure the varnish is there evenly on the entire artwork. If you think the varnish liquid isn't enough, you can use a couple of more drops. See what happens if the painting is not fully dry is when you use this kind of uh, brushable varnish, the paint will start coming off. So it's better you dry it completely for 96 hours and then apply varnish. Now the next thing is uh, when you apply varnish, keep a bowl of water nearby accessible to you so the moment you finish varnishing i'm going to let this dry for another 24 hours minimum and put this brush into the water bowl immediately you know after 24 hours of drying if you look at this it's going to be shiny shiny and now itself it's like that but after drying it looks more perfect that's all for this video thank you for watching